myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Uh, welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see one of the use case of real time by using an automation tool, right? So just before I begin, there is a saying that Bill Gates says lazy people make the best employees and they also choose a lazy person to do a hard job. The same way in our organization, we have a new batch that is coming into a course and we wanted to send them a bulk email, right? And um, this is a job that was given uh, by my managers within KSR. Now, do you think I keep on sending a message to email to each and everyone? That's practically not possible because I do have a lot of other things to do. So being lazy made me to choose an option of sending this bulk emails. And for that, we are going to work with one of the use case, how to send an email to users in bulk and whatever the format we want, we can choose it. As part of this agenda, I'll be talking about a power automate, which is the tool that we will be using for this automation and then taking forward, we'll be creating the flow and I'll also show you how each one of them will get an email. I'll show you a validation. Just to give you an overview, we have this power automate, which is one of the power platforms tool which is for automating certain use case. So as you know, most of you know Power BI, it's known for visualization. Power Apps, we know that it's for a uh, mobile or desktop application. Virtual agents, we know that it's for a chatbot. And now the application or a tool which was introduced in the year 2020, just like when the lockdown started, they introduced a tool called which is Power Automate. And by using Power Automate, we can automate certain things. And that is a one use case which we are going to find out now okay and now we'll start with the flow we'll start with the flow uh we will go with the url and the url for the power automate is make dot power automate and this is the url and you should have an organization account in order to work with it and this is an organization account which i have so all the ksr employees will be given with one organization account not only ksr you work with any company there will be a corporate email id that will be given to each one of you so even if you're going uh, going to work in any of the organization uh, this will be the process you can directly log into your power automate i can execute this flow now as and then i go forward i'll create a new flow right and this is something which instantly should happen that means if i instantly click any button automatically the email should go to many users right and that is what i'm going to click this instant cloud and i will give a name such as onboarding email automate okay and i'll choose manually trigger this flow and i'll give a create now i just need to complete this automate okay so you need not send an email to each one of you. You just send for one person and you can give as many as emails possible. For the explanation purpose, uh, we have taken a sample email IDs like this. People are like our organization uh, employees. Let's say they have joined newly and when they join for the first time, they will be giving their personal email ID and this is a personal email ID, right? And this is a KSR email ID and this is a password that we are going to give which is a temporary password of course it's a dummy email id and dummy password so imagine that these are the people who are part of our new team like we are like they're all joining on the same day and they have registered or they have in contact with us with their personal email id and i have to send them the ksr email id and password to their email stating that it's a work from home, right? So onboarding happens virtually. So happen this virtually, we need to send this email details to them. So that's the use case now. OK, so now what I'll do, I'll go here. When I click this, automatically what should happen is, and since the data is coming from this spreadsheet, OK, which is basically a business uh, Excel. So what I'll do, I'll use this Excel right and I need to select what I want. Should I want to delete a row? Definitely no. Should I want to get a row? Definitely no. I want to update a row? No. I want the list of rows present in the table. 
right? And in this is a table format. If you see, this is a table format. So I want to list all the rows present in the table. So this is what I need to select it. And if I want to run this, I need to give the location of this file where it is present. So I'll go and give and it is present in OneDrive for business and it is present with one drive and the file name is there are a lot of files which I have so I need to give the file name. I'll go to this browse tab and let me choose which is my file name. My file name is KSR cred. So KSR cred stands for KSR credentials. So I'll give this and it's a table, right? So obviously this is a table format. I have not named it, so it becomes a table one, right? So what this will do is whenever I click a button, it will go to a list of all the rows that it will be taking from this table right now what I need to do I need to send an email so I'll add a new step and I'll send an email I'll send an email right now send an email you can send it to outlook as well but unfortunately we have still not given this email ID to them so it's no use to send to this email ID we have to send to a personal email ID so what I will do I will choose a option that is send email which is a gmail one okay which is a gmail one so now I need to send this email to each one of them who is present in that list. Those list of the people are the new joinee people who are going to join our next batch. OK, now in this I need to send a two. So two will be this email ID, which is nothing but my normal email ID. It's not a KSR email ID. It's a normal email ID. So what I'll do is I'll just go and add a dynamic content here. There are two emails which is present. And if I'm sending a KSR email, it doesn't make sense because they have still don't have access to this. They're all new joinees. So I'll send them to personal email, right? And the moment I add it to uh, the personal email, it has put into a loop because there are many uh, new joinees, right? It's not just one. There could be many. It could be five. It could be six. It could be seven. It could be hundred, right? And now for everyone, I need to give a generalized. I need to give a, a generalized email. OK, so for that uh, and also I need to connect to my Gmail, so I'll be connecting to my personal Gmail and here I need to give the subject. So the subject I'll be giving as welcome on board in our team. OK, so I'm just giving a main subject. Welcome on board. Glad to have you in team and again I'll say welcome and I'll address with their name. So I'll give a uh, the name. What is their name? It will be picked from this value. So that is one and coming to body uh, just to save some time. I have a email body that has been written. So let's pick out that and I'll copy in the body. So we are just giving a, uh, a simple format. So it says that dear we are all excited to welcome you on board at KSR Data Vision. We provide all this and now I need to give the email and password for their email ID and that is present here. KSR email ID and KSR password. So I'll just give the KSR email ID as a parameter and here I'll give a KSR password as a parameter. So here also I'll address it. Okay, it's always good to address with a name. So let me address with the name. So I'll say hello or dear name. So and this is an email. Okay, all done now and you can also add some uh, priority, but this is should be fine. Okay, now end of flow. Right end of flow. So initially I'm take I'm just trying to click this and automatically it will be taking all the list from this one drive and it will be considering this table name and once it is considering I'll be sending to the person I'll be sending to the email. So email will be this personal email and this is a generalized email that I'll be sending and do you think I can send it to all nine people individually? Definitely not possible. I need to make sure I do it one once and it should execute as many times as it is mentioned. OK, all good. Now I'll, I'm going to execute it. This is the last part that we will be validating it. So I'll give you I'll show you some dummy emails. See, you don't have any emails as such in this and you don't have any emails as such in this and you don't have any emails as in such in this. So now let's save this flow and let me click the test now. I'll be testing now. So the moment if I click the test, if I'm doing a manual, uh, if I do this test, let's see what happens. So it will run this flow. So this is stick. This is stick and email has been sending to this. The last part is sending email, right? So it will take some time because there, there are around six to seven email IDs, right? So this are six to seven email IDs. So it's going to take some time and it has done. OK, and if you see I've got an email. Welcome on board. Glad to have you in your team. Welcome Kiran. Why this Kiran? Because Kiran is the name, right? And 
let's go for another one so here it is a raj so welcome on board glad to have you in our team welcome raj who is raj and raj is a person who is another person who is an employee his email id is this the email has been generated to this and this is his ksr email id and this is a one time password i mean temporary password which you can see ksr email is raj at ksr and password is this so for the first day they have to log in with this user id and this password and that's my organization account now let's go to another one and you see this is a third person who has got and all the people have got same time and that's what we would have done and all this nine people who have joined newly for our team would have got three mails so this is welcome divi welcome raj and welcome kiran all three are my employees so do you think i can go and send an email to each one of them definitely not possible well i do have a beautiful tool which is power automate by using this power automate i am generating onboarding not only onboarding if you want to have a, a reminder to your time sheets or if you want to have any uh, circular that you need to share we can share it all over the email ids well that's what we can do with respect to power automate the lot of other use cases which we can do we will be walking you through one by one video thank you so much for watching please subscribe our channel if you have not we will come up with more of use case